All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Co-op Athletics. I'm your host, Oscar. To your Thursday's workout, take a look. This is what you're doing today. All right, guys, so we're gonna jump right into the workout today. Your skill work today is a four by eight, so that means you're gonna do four sets, eight reps of each movement. So you have a single arm row, so a nice flat back. If you have a bench, totally cool. Arm goes straight, you're pulling into the hip. Okay, so elbow goes up nice and high when you're doing this. You're gonna pull it to the hip. Again, keep your chest up. Uh, let the lat relax when the dumbbell goes all the way down. So, single arm row. Right after that, you have a straight bar reverse curl. So if you have a barbell or even dumbbells, instead of a palms up when you're doing your bicep curls or, or a straight bar curl, palms are down. So you're gonna feel it on the top portion of your forearms. That's what we're looking for, okay? So again, uh, good curls when you're doing that. Uh, no shoulders, no throwing your shoulders back, no bumping off the hips, none of that. Just good, slow, and controlled when you're doing that. And the last one is a dumbbell pullover, okay? You're gonna lay down flat on, your, on the bench, okay? You're gonna arch that back, big arch, just like you were in a bench press. Okay, dumbbell goes behind the shoulders. It could be a dumbbell, a plate, a kettlebell, even a straight barbell, I'm totally cool with that. Okay, arm opens up, and then you're gonna control it back to over eyesight level. Okay, so barbell goes all the way back, or dumbbell, whatever the object you're using, and goes eyesight level. Again, you'll feel it right on that sternum portion, uh, the shoulders, lats, back, and you're gonna feel all of that, and that's what we're looking for. Feel free to superset that, guys, just so we can move along the process. From there, you'll, you'll move into a second set of supersets, you're gonna go dumbbell floor press and a face down dumbbell reverse fly. Okay, so on the floor uh, kettlebell floor press, you're gonna lay down flat on your back, big arch in your back, just like you were doing in your pullovers. You have your dumbbells and go ahead and press all the way through. Feel free to go heavier. Again, go slow and controlled. We don't wanna slam our elbows into the ground when you're doing this. Right after that, you have your face down dumbbell flies. So you can lay down flat on a bench or even elevated would probably be a better position. Again, you're gonna open up your arms like a T position and then bring them right back down. So again, you should feel it in the mid-back rhomboid area, so like right in that mid, mid portion of your shoulder blades and that lat area, that's what we're looking for. So really focus when you're doing on that. Right after that, we're gonna move right into our workout. What is your workout today? It's one round. Yes, one round. You're going all the way through as hard as you can. You're gonna go 30 calorie on the assault bike, okay? 30 calorie on the assault, assault bike, so you're gonna go as hard as you can. You're saying, hey, I don't have an assault bike, I have a rower, no big deal. You're gonna go 50 calories on the rower, 45 for the ladies, you're gonna go as hard as you can. You don't have any of those two movements, uh, two items, no big deal, 800 meter run, come back in. So you're gonna go as hard as you can on that portion. As soon as you're back, you're gonna go 50 barbell thrusters. 65 pounds for the guys, 45 pounds for the ladies. Yes, it's designed to go fast. We want to accelerate that heart rate. We want to get you going. Right after that, you're going to finish up with 20 burpees. Remember, chest and hips. Touch the ground. Pop yourself right back up. Really jump up when, you, when you're doing that, the finishing movement. Again, guys, thanks for watching. Enjoy.